Look at our faces. Look at our children. We are here to tell you we are dying and we need help. I'm Erin Brockovich. Many of you watching this documentary may have seen my story. My story is much like the stories you are about to watch. I fought a major corporation, Pacific Gas and Electric, for polluting the water in a small community in California. The pollution led to multiple health complaints and deaths. Southern Voices for Change, an environmental story, focuses on different environmental issues. The common element is each story focuses on the one individual that started the fight for environmental justice. Each of their situations are unique, unique as yours. This documentary is meant to inform you on how individuals come face to face with the major corporations that are polluting their neighborhoods or taking their neighborhoods away for the sake of development. Watch, listen, and learn, because this is your chance to become involved in an environmental issue that just might be in your backyard. God knows what they're gonna bring in. They'll be taking uh, hazardous waste from all parts of the world. Cancerate is plentiful here. Burst effect is plentiful here. We have 10 chemical plants. Out of the 10 chemical plants, I don't believe we have 20 people in the community working in those plants. You know, we are breathing it and all the inconvenience and everything, but we have no economy growth here in the town of St. Gabriel. They were telling us how good the plant was. Well, if it's so good, bring it to your neighborhood. It's just that sample, you know. People wake up and look. When you go to the law, the government is supposed to protect your lives and your children's lives, and they allow big corporations like this to poison you to death. I don't agree with what's going on in this country. I hate what's going on because it's destroying millions of people. But somebody has to stand up and say enough is enough. You know you're doing it to the generations to come. There was this Love Canal dump site, and it had 20,000 tons of chemicals in it, including dioxin. And that the people around the dump site were probably getting sick. I looked at that and said, oh, those poor folks, and went about my business. Because at the time, I didn't understand those poor folks were me. And until we came along and got started on this, people here were very quiet. This, even when the news came out that the water here was contaminated, that you shouldn't drink the water, that the mill was giving away free bottled water, the health department gives away coupons for people to go get water. Our community is still in total denial about this problem. And I think the reason for that is that it's such a big problem. It's so serious that people are afraid to face it. But the environmental justice movement has redefined what environmentalism is. It's redefined uh, environmentalism to include where people live, work, and play, as well as the natural world. Environmental justice has really provided the vision for changing this whole green movement. Environmental justice, economic justice, and justice, period. It's, it's, it's a rich poor. It's to have the few rich and the working poor. They want everyone off of this island. They want it to be yet another exclusive rich resort. Black history is now a billion dollar B, as in billion, dollar uh, business now because black folks are coming south. They want to have a historical setting for their uh, family reunions, their wedding anniversaries. So that is now perhaps our way of getting, quote, saved, is the fact that the history will be the theme and they will once again discover American Beach the only African-American beach in the state of Florida. Unite a community that you will be able to go back to your different communities and continue to unite. And we can do that because we put people in positions to uh, design policies and make rules and regulations and we can make sure that the people we put in there to do these things are going to do the right thing and if they don't do the right thing then we'll have to take them out and put somebody else in there.
Okay.